If you're an avid photographer, you know the importance of organizing your digital images. It can be overwhelming to sift through thousands of photos to find the one that you need for a project or the perfect shot that you want to showcase. Fortunately, Lightroom Classic offers a range of powerful tools to help you manage your photo library. And in this tutorial, we'll explore some of the most useful ones, flags, stars, and color labels. With flags, you can quickly mark your photo as picked or rejected, allowing you to easily sort and filter your images. Stars allow you to rate your photos based on quality or importance, helping you to find your best shots more easily. And color labels offer a customizable way to categorize your photos based on subject matter, location, or any other criteria that you choose. But these tools aren't just about organization. They can also help you hone your skills as a photographer. By analyzing and rating your own work, you'll gain a better understanding of your strengths and weaknesses and be able to identify areas where you can improve. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the basics of using flags, stars, and color labels in Lightroom Classic, as well as some advanced techniques for combining them to create a personalized photo management system. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, you're sure to find these tools invaluable for keeping your photo library in order and elevating your photography skills. Flags are a powerful tool in Lightroom Classic that can help you manage your photos in an efficient and effective way. By using flags, you can quickly mark your photos as picked or rejected, allowing you to easily sort and filter your images. But flags are not just for organization, they can also be used to help improve your photography skills. Using flags is simple. In the library module of Lightroom Classic, Select the photos you want to flag and then press the P key to mark them as picks. To mark a photo as rejected, you press the X key. If you made a mistake and flagged a photo that you didn't intend to, you can press the U key to remove the flag from that photo. So I'm going to show you an example. First, I like to go into the single view mode. Now, I like this photo. I, I want to flag this as a pick, so I just press the P key on my keyboard. And you'll see it shows a white flag down here above the film strip. Okay, I'm going to use my arrow key to move on to the next photo. All right, so this photo I want to mark it as a reject, so I'm going to press the X key. And again, you see that it highlights the black flag above the film strip. Okay, so now say I made a mistake with this photo and I really wanted to mark this as picked. You can also come back up here, push the P button, and it'll change that flag from the reject flag to the pick flag. Or if I want to remove the flag completely from this photo, I hit the U button and that'll remove any flags on your photos. So I'm going to take the time to go through my photos and flag them as either picks or rejects. And I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so now I've applied flags to all of my photos. If we hit the G button on the keyboard, That'll bring us back to the grid view. And you'll notice that some of these photos are grayed out. Okay, those grayed out photos are the photos that I marked as rejected. Okay, now let's say that these rejected photos were flagged as rejects because they were blurry or out of focus or just bad photos. If I want to get rid of those photos, I come up to the menu, click on photo, and come down to delete rejected photos and that will delete them from your Lightroom catalog. Now, I'm not going to do that in this case. I'm just using this as an example, and I fully intend on editing all of these photos, so eventually I will remove the rejected flag from them. But if I wanted to get rid of them, that's how you do it. Okay, now I want to point out the flags are not just limited to marking photos as picked or rejected. You can also use them to indicate other important characteristics of your image. You know, such as images that need further editing, images that are part of a series, or images that are potential candidates for a certain project. By using flags to categorize and organize your photos, you can streamline your workflow and save time in the editing process. Furthermore, analyzing and rating your own work through flags can help you identify areas for improvement and develop your own unique photographic style. 
Okay, so now that I have all my photos flagged, I want to filter these so that I just see the pics. So I'm going to come up here, and in this area of the screen, we should have a library filter bar. If that bar is not there for you, hit the backslash key on your keyboard, and, and that'll show up. Okay, I want to come over here. I want to make sure that I have attributes selected, and I want to see just the photos that I marked as pics. So I'm going to click on this white flag. And now that shows me all of the photos that I marked as pics using the P button on the keyboard. Okay, if I want to get rid of that, I just click on that button again, and now I see everything again. If I want to see just the rejects flagged photos, I can click on this black flag, and that'll show me just the photos that I marked as rejected. Again, to show everything, click on that black flag to hide it, and now I have everything again. So I'm going to go back to my pics, and now we're going to talk about star ratings. Okay, so stars are another powerful tool in Lightroom Classic that can help you rate and organize your photos. By using stars, you can quickly rate your photos based on their quality or importance, making it easy to find your best shots and showcase them to the world. To use stars, select the photo you want to rate and press the number key from 1 to 5. The more stars you assign to a photo, the higher its rating. The rating system can help you quickly identify your best shots and prioritize your editing workflow. So I'm going to go into my single photo mode. And again, I'm going to give it a rating. This time I'm going to use the stars. So I'm going to call this one a five star image. I'm going to move on to the next one. And we'll call this a three star. And this one I'll call four. And I'm going to go ahead and go through and keep rating these. And again, I'll be right back. All right, so again, I've made it through all my photos. I'm going to hit G to go back into the grid view. And I have my library filter up here. So what I want to do now, I want to sort by my stars as well as my flags. So the picks flag is highlighted, showing me the photos that I picked. Now I'm going to come over here to the stars, and I'm going to click on the fifth star. So this will show me photos that are flagged with the pick flag and that I have noted as five star photos. Now, again, stars are not just for organization. They can also help you hone your photography skills by rating your own work. You can gain a better understanding of your strengths and weaknesses as a photographer and learn how to improve your skill. Using stars can effectively make a big difference in how you manage and showcase your photos in Lightroom Classic. By rating your photos based on their quality or importance, you can easily find and prioritize your best shots. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to color labels. Okay, color labels are a unique and powerful tool in Lightroom Classic that can help you visually categorize and organize your photos. By assigning different colors to your photos, you can quickly and easily identify them based on their characteristics or importance. To use a color label, Select the photo that you want to label and press either 6, 7, 8, or 9 on your keyboard. 6 will apply a red label, 7 will apply a yellow label, 8 will apply a green label, and 9 will apply a blue label. Now you can also use purple labels, but to access those you have to right click on the photo, go to set color label, and from here you can pick purple. So how I usually use this, I will set the photos that I really like to a red label. Okay, and that tells me that that's a photo that I want to further work with and edit. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply the color labels to these photos. So again, I'm going to open up in single view and I'm going to start setting the color labels on these photos. Okay, so I've got color labels on all these photos. Again, I'm going to hit the G key to go back into my grid view. And you can see that I've got red and yellow labels. So, okay, like I said before, the red labeled photos are my favorites. And those are the ones that I definitely want to edit at a later date. Okay, and, and don't be tied down to using red for your favorites. You can use yellow, you can use green, or you can use blue or purple to denote your favorite photos. This is just the system that I use. So my red photos are my favorites. Now I want to see just my red photos that I have flagged as five stars and that I've, I, I have applied a pick flag to. So 
Again, we can come up to this bar here. If we click the color red, it will show me just my five star red labeled picked photos. And this is telling me that these are my absolute favorites out of what I just uploaded. So these are the photos that I will definitely edit first. All right, so Lightroom Classics flags, stars, and color labels are powerful tools that can help you efficiently manage and organize your photo library, prioritize your editing workflow, and express your creativity as a photographer. By using these tools together, you can create a personalized workflow that suits your needs and style and easily find and showcase your best shots. Flags, stars, and color labels are versatile tools that can be used in many different ways. You can use flags to mark your photos as pics or rejects, stars to rate your photo based on their quality or importance, and color labels to visually categorize your photos based on their characteristics or attributes. You can also create custom labeling systems based on your personal preferences and workflow. Using flags, stars, and color labels can help you become a better photographer by providing you with a better understanding of your strengths and weaknesses and helping you improve your skills and creativity. And assigning colors to your photos based on their mood or tone, you can develop your own unique photographic style and vision. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Again, if you found this video useful, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.